It's the beginning of outdoor season. The sun is shining. The grass is green. The air is fresh. But first, we'll need to do some blank bill. Welcome to Triple Trouble. Today we are going to explain how to shoot blank bill and why you would do it. So there's a couple reasons you would shoot a blank bill target. Uh, for me, most of the time it's about uh, shooting more volume than I would on 70 meters because you don't have all of the time uh, that you would have walking back and forth. Making volume uh, can do a couple things. Uh, it's something that you can use for a uh, warm up so you can ease your muscles into shooting 70 meters. Um, you could uh, use it to change your technique. Um, if you change your technique, you wanna put some arrows through it so you can get used to the technique. If you're in a period where you shoot a lot of competitions, it's good to do some blank bill every once in a while. Just to keep the volume up and to maintain your technique and check in if everything is still okay. The reason to do this uh, on blank bill as opposed to a normal target is that you don't have a result uh, matched with your shot. So you can just shoot without having a result immediately uh, looking back at you. So shooting bigger volumes can uh, do a couple things. It can uh, improve your stamina in shooting. Um, also, if you put some new leather on your tab, um, it's good for your tab to uh, make some volume so that it's uh, nice and uh, broken in. Um, and it's also just a, a thing to get your technique going. So. So in the season, when you're shooting a lot of competitions, um, you want to hit the middle all the time because you're shooting a lot of competition arrows. Blank bail is a nice way to uh, get back to your, your own feel and uh, to your own shot without being disturbed by all of the results that are around you. If you have a proper target, you can just shoot your normal arrows, your competition arrows on the blank bail. If your target's not so good, uh, you can consider shooting some old arrows that are the same length or maybe just getting some cheap arrows for blank bill so you don't wear out your competition arrows as much. In your blank bill session, try not to focus on too many things because you'll feel a lot in your technique, but just focus on one or two things uh, that you really want to highlight in your technique and work on that. You can choose to shoot blank bill at your eye height, just, uh, just parallel uh, as you would on maybe 18 meters or an indoor uh, situation. Um, you can also shoot blank bill on 70 meter height, so my sight's at 70 meters. We put some small uh, targets on the actual target to shoot at um, and we aim at the small targets but our arrow hits higher so we can uh, actively take our stance for 70 meters. So in the end, blank bail is good for a couple things. You can increase your arrow volume. This will be good for your technique changes, so you can get a lot of arrows through in a short period of time. You can use this for a proper warm up for your training. You can increase your overall bow fitness, your uh, stamina, and you can do all of this without having an immediate score feedback. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Um, maybe try to do some blank bill yourself and see if your scores improve in the end. If you did learn something, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're uh, rapidly growing, but we'd like to keep that going. So uh, please subscribe and leave a like under this video if you uh, enjoyed watching. See you next time.